Hello, 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 what's happening everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. So, Sunspot just came to the game today. You can actually see him right here. He is looking pretty darn cool, I must admit. Um, and not just because he apparently has a flame-resistant suit and is looking very dapper. Uh, but yeah, so he's in the game today, so that means his arenas are alive, and that also means that his crystals are alive. So, per the usual series, the relatively newer series that I started with Invisible Woman, now that I'm Cavalier, I'm going to be rolling for five of the featured Cavalier crystals for every single new champ. Um, any sunspot would be great. He is not even available in Marvel Insider this month, which... Be on the lookout for a video for that. I know that's a total side tangent. I apologize. But uh, I will be doing one this weekend that talks a little bit more in detail about Marvel Insider and what's been going on with that this year. But anyway, uh, because he's not available in Marvel Insider, even a three-star would be great. Just so I can start playing around with him and getting used to him and seeing what he can do. However, Mysterio is a sub-featured. And of course, we have to talk about that because, of course... If somehow you missed it, I pulled the five star from the preview bundles that they had for him. Did three separate rounds, 25 crystals total with his feature Cavaliers. After that, did not get the Awakening. Really, really wanted the Awakening. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I still have not gotten a six star from any of these. Let's go ahead and buy five. I will multitask here, talk and open at the same time. So this first one will let spin out. Um, I still have not gotten a six star from any Cavalier crystal. You know, featured, regular, bundles, previews, anything like that. So a six star, of course, would be phenomenal. Um, any sunspot would be phenomenal. But honestly, kind of sneaking in as the Dark Horse win since he is sub-featured. Five star Mysterio to finally get that awakening after many, many tries at him would be... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I would get some justice, some payback for those second and third rounds in particular. But it's stopped on its own. Let's see. Crystal number one. It is going to be, well, all right, at least it's a four-star. That five-star Sinister would have been really cool. Um, I do not have him as a five-star yet, so that would have been great. But at least the first one apparently awakens my four-star rocket. I, 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 I must have sold him at some point back in the day. <laughs> one of those times I needed shards for a five-star crystal or a five-star featured or something. Moral of the story is don't sell your champions, people. Crystal number two, let's get it in. But yeah, getting that five-star Mysterio dupe. I don't know. It would feel so satisfying. And again, just such such great payback for rounds two and three in particular of the hunt for the Mysterio dupe. So let's see. Crystal number two. Anything exciting? It's going to be... <gasps> oh, that is really good. Um, obviously, it wasn't any of those that I just listed, but I really cannot complain about that. That is a brand spanking new Havoc. That is awesome i mean he's only been in the crystals for a little bit now uh didn't really go for him at all for featured grandmasters or anything Woo! that is pretty darn good i am not gonna lie i'm very happy with that and kind of almost don't care how the rest of this opening goes um again like i said i did i did a first round of five for mysterio that actually run, went pretty well rounds two and three were less good that's not english spoken well and neither is that but the point is rounds two and three were very underwhelming so that right there kind of made up for both of them honestly that is fantastic so here we go i just tapped this one for crystal number three let's keep this luck train rolling maybe and no it won't it's a three-star mysterio that's fine that is totally fine after pulling a five-star havoc i i will i will absolutely be okay with that because i think that's a fair balance so crystal number four i'm actually going to do a super quick tap on this one let's see i'm seeing all these six stars you know what that probably means you guessed it even with the rollover it's still a three star that's just it's too enticing of a reel for kabam to really be like hey we're actually gonna give you a six star yeah no still not happening um i'm still in shock that i just got a five star havoc all right crystal number five i'm gonna let this one spin out again all the way not touching this one so this is where we're going to end it, um, I may open up, I don't know, one or so off camera, you know, over the next couple of days. But probably, this is probably going to be it. Um, I wanted to keep it to five this time. Because, again, I, I definitely went hard going for that Mysterio dupe and came up short. So, keeping it to five, no matter what happens in this last crystal, no matter what, uh, there will not be a round two, there won't be a round three. 
uh, I can't I can't go big like that like I did last time. Um, so I need to to keep going with the arena grinding, get the the units back up and stuff like that. This one is going for quite a while. I feel like there we go. It just stopped on its own. So let's see, crystal number five. What are we ending with? Anything? Nothing. Just nothing. Just nothing on the radar. Uh, but again, you know what? I I basically hit the odds more or less. One four star, one five star, three three stars, and the five stars. This guy right here. I gotta do. I gotta do the uh, the snapshot right there. So sorry, not sorry. Whew, that is very satisfying, trust me. Um, I mean, even as a set of five, that was still basically worth 1,500 units. But obviously, the crystal itself was worth was more than worth 300 units, excuse me. Oh, man, that is awesome. Okay, so this is going to happen. Um, I'm going to work on him and finally use him because I don't even have him as a four-star yet. I only have the three-star, so I've basically never used him, but I'm definitely going to start learning. Anyway, before I keep rambling, that'll wrap it up. So let me know in the comments below, are you going for Sunspot in the arenas? Are you going for him with these crystals? If you have, comment. Let me know how lucky you got. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. All that stuff really helps me out. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. I'm very happy. Uh, take care, and I will see you next time.